the sexy back. The original classics that naturally became part of pop culture lingo. I'm sexy and I know it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 songs that started catchphrases. Big Willie Styles all in it, getting jiggy with it. For this list, we're looking at the songs that changed pop culture and gave the world catchphrases through accessible, catchy wording alone. Number 10, the motto. Drake featuring Lil Wayne. I'm the f man, y'all don't get it, do you? Type of money, everybody acting like they knew you. Nominated for a Grammy Award, this track was all the business upon its time of release. The flow, the conviction, oh, and the motto, you only live once, that's the motto, YOLO. Now she want a photo, you already know though, you only live once, that's the motto, YOLO, and we bought it every day, every day, every day. For the more adventurous millennial listeners, the concept took hold quickly, with the acronym being ideal for social media hashtags and a way to brand one's questionable decision making. I'm so young, money, got a drum on the gun, in the jazz of bunny. The motto itself makes sense if applied sensibly, but as conveyed in the rebuttal track by Joey Badass, YOLO doesn't quite work for those unable to consider the consequences of their actions. You may OLO, but please do so responsibly. Now she want a photo, you already know though. Yeah. You only live once, that's the motto, YOLO, and we bought it every day, every day, every day. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help your black ass? You goddamn right. Number 9, <laughs> The Police, NWA. The police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back. For this controversial hip-hop classic, the inception began in a time when the world had yet to learn of the police brutality that plagued the city of Compton. As the second track of N.W.A.'s landmark debut album, and sampling both Funky President and Funky Drummer by James Brown, the track incited a much-needed conversation in society. You rather see me in the pen than And though the song ultimately became somewhat of an anthem for the concept of rebellion, it's arguably more relevant than ever in the age of YouTube and documented police corruption. <laughs> Number 8. Sexy and I Know It, LMFAO. When I walk on by, girls be looking like Debbie Fly. In the early months of 2011, an American hip-hop duo released an aptly titled single called Party Rock Anthem, and by the end of the year, their follow-up number one offered a comedic take on the idea of bringing sexy back. I'm sexy and I know it. Of course, the thong-filled music video played a major role in the titular catchphrase taking off, but with the rise of selfies and Instagram, Sexy and I Know It became the perfect way to hashtag the concept of feeling sexy, even if one may not be sexy in the traditional sense. So, thanks LMFAO? I'm sexy and I know it. Who let the dogs out? Number 7. Who let the dogs out? Baja Men. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? If you're not well versed on the history of this addictive song, just know that it was essentially distributed to the world in part at least by Nickelodeon. As the breakout single from the Rugrats in Paris soundtrack, the track has an aggressive chorus, complemented by the danceable island aesthetic. Of course, it's the potent delivery of Who Let the Dogs Out that essentially allowed the Baja men to inject the souls of the world with their message, resulting in one of pop culture's most puzzling, unanswered questions. Who let those damn dogs out? Number 6, Born to be Wild, Steppenwolf. In the late 1960s, themes of war and love played a prominent role in the lives of many. 
However, for a certain demographic of the counterculture movement, the highway represented freedom and endless opportunities. Born to be With Born to be Wild, Steppenwolf not only anticipated the genre that was to become heavy metal, but the invigorating hook provided a catchphrase for hippies, rebels, or anyone no longer willing to fight against the man and a corrupt system. Of course, the song gained momentum once a motorcycle was included for the iconic 1969 film Easy Rider. Born to be Number 5. Single Ladies. Put a ring on it. Beyonce. Over the years, Beyonce has empowered young women of the world through poignant metaphors, but with this sassy production, the message is blunt and straight to the point. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. The music video itself has become a cultural phenomenon, but when you strip everything down, the song addresses a simple matter that can often plague relationships for years. Fellas don't have to put a ring on it, and in turn women don't have to put a ring on anyone else's finger either. But they should at least know what's gonna happen if they don't. So there you go, a simple catchphrase delivered by a flawless icon. Number four, getting jiggy with it. Will Smith. On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Dance for pro, I know you. Big Willie style. It's a concept that many embraced as Will Smith wrapped up the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and subsequently became an A list movie star. But it was his debut solo album that managed to both confuse and inspire the average consumer. Getting jiggy with it. Back when the world was a little less sensitive, Will could get away by including a slight alteration of a racial epithet in the title. Hey, you trying to flex on me? Don't be silly. Getting jiggy with it. And why? Well, because it's just so damn catchy, especially when conveyed by the fresh prince of all people. Getting jiggy with it. Number three, drop it like it's hot. Snoop Dogg featuring Pharrell Williams. When the pimps in the crib, ma. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Before this release from SNOOP DOGG, it wasn't exactly appropriate to ask mom or dad what they do when the pimps in the crib. But given the massive popularity of Drop It Like It's Hot and the artists involved, things change. Get an attitude. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Snoop's biggest release since Gin and Juice, this 2004 collab dropped its way into the public pop lexicon like it was hot. Pharrell on the beat, Snoop on the mic. I got the on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Don and I'm the best because I got it going on. These guys were thinking ahead, and just the phrasing of the song's title opened the doors for endless parodies. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you, park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Number two, bust a move. Young MC. This here's a champ for all the fellas. Try to do what those ladies tell us. Years before gangster rap became the new norm and legends like Tupac and Biggie hit the scene, one young MC emerged from Queens, New York to give us one of hip hop's most beloved singles. You run over there without a second to lose, and what comes next? Hey, bust a move. Lyrically, Young MC unveils a natural flow, something that karaoke all-stars try so hard to imitate. But aside from the funky aesthetic and crisp delivery, there's the accessible title, which doesn't take a whole lot of smarts to understand. You say Nito, check your libido, and roll to the church in your new tuxedo. The bride walks down just to start the wedding, and there's one more girl you won't be getting. Bust a move. Get your freak on. Get low. It might have been built for the streets and boom boxes, yet it survives at wedding receptions and awkward company parties. But thankfully, the catchphrase means that Young MC will always be relevant. Just bust a move.
before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, you can't touch this. MC Hammer. Can't touch this. My, 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 can't touch my this. music hits me so hard. Perhaps building on the momentum of young MC and certainly the rising popularity of hip hop in pop culture, a Bay Area musician doubled down with catchphrases for the catchphrase win. You know, let me bust the funky lyrics. Can't touch this. Fresh new kids and bands. You got it like that, now you know you want to. Believe it or not, MC Hammer had previously released two albums before he released You Can't Touch This. It was, however, the singer's most accessible song. You better get a hype, boy, because you know you can't, you can't touch this. As the singable chorus and powerful declaration set in motion a whole new aesthetic for rhyming and dancing. Oh, and let's not forget about Too Legit to Quit, yet another infamous MC Hammer single that coined a catchphrase. Kicking the time because I'm too legit to quit saying. So, do you agree with our selections? What is your favorite song that started a catchphrase? For more addictive top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah.